I always knew that I wanted to be a doctor and it was my time at Notre Dame that really solidified that in my mind. At Notre Dame, I took the required pre-med courses to do that, as well as be an anthropology major. My name is Patrick McCarthy. I'm a cardiac surgeon and I am the chief of cardiac surgery at Northwestern. And I'm also the head of the Cardiovascular Institute. In some ways, we take the heart for granted when it's beating one time per second, but that adds up to 2,000 gallons per day of blood that the heart is pumping and 42 million heartbeats per year. Whenever the heart loses blood supply because of a heart attack or because we cut off the blood supply to do a heart transplant, time is of the essence. The logistics of doing a heart transplant are really something else. So there's one team that is at the donor hospital and they're going to remove the heart and then that clock starts ticking. You have four hours. Then there's a transport team, frequently a helicopter or a plane. The other team at the hospital where the heart is going to be placed is already working on the patient, getting ready. And then there's transplant coordinators that are like air traffic controllers. Clear for takeoff, stay with me for now. For everyone involved in the transplant of a human heart, time is everything. Collapse to zero, heading vertical speed. So if we think that the process is going to take more than four hours because the heart is just too far away, then we may not be able to use it. It may go to waste. As a cardiac surgeon, I'm proud that Notre Dame is doing this kind of research. This has great importance for the patients that we see every day. When I was at Notre Dame, this is the kind of research and kind of area that I would have been involved in, and I'm glad to see that that has continued to go on.